grounds or the home grounds of the home side Mediama Sporting Club this afternoon taking on their Enzima counterparts from Enyinase, that's Karela Football Club in a match day 28 encounter which is dubbed the Derby of Enzima or the Enzima Derby. My name is Prince Anand. Together with Prof. Judah Champon, we'll be running you through what you need to know. This game promises to be a very, very tough game, considering the fact that Karela occupy the fourth position on the league table. Mediama are one step behind them, but are all on the same points build-up. That's what makes this game a lot more interesting. We'll be taking a look at the two sides, the gentlemen that will be doing battle for the two sides, and of course, what we need to know in terms of this game. 90 minutes of action here at the Akun Park wherever you're watching us whether on your start times on up whilst you're on the go or on your start times decoder we say welcome to the Akun Park and so nothing short of a uh, glory goals and honor would be uh, good enough for this game as Karela get the, us rolling here at the Akun Park Karela playing from left to right and they're sporting the uh, red jerseys it's a first incursion for the visitors putting pressure on the home side good turn by Bashiru over does it and it's picked up by Rashid Noti Sets up the pass now. Now this looks good for Mediama Sporting Club as they come forward threateningly. Nothing came out from that uh, Opoku Ajiman effort, but Eric Wakwa drives from a distance. Well, I'm sure a lot of people would want to forget that Japan game as quickly and as early as possible as Mediama now are probing for goal number one. He manages to turn and shoot. And again, we see strong turn there by uh, Prince. Shaibu with a cross. Dealt with nicely by Frank. First 25 uh, minutes has been even Stevens with no goal as yet. Buedu now has his eyes set on goal, but he needs the support. Threads the pass through. Lovely skill by Mediama. Good turn by Zaka. Can he get in a drive? He does. Second opportunity for Mediama Sporting Club and it's cleared out. It's part for Karela. Let's now see what they can do between now and the end of the season. Ball floated into the 18-yard box. That was quick reflexes from Beidou. And he scores four marks. What reflexes from Richard Beidou? They're moving forward now, threateningly. Watting lace on the pass. Vadi! That could have been a very swift counter attack. It's been raining for a day and a half. Corner kick affected. Oh, that was a nice turn. A lovely touch there by uh, Bashiru. Let's see the skill here again. Great turn. And oh. Tetezuta threads a pass to Fatal. Lovely one too with uh, Rashid. Fatal gets in the cross, but Prince was a shade late. Again, look at that move. Great move, but that cross again, not a tailor measured. We saw it right from the beginning when the two teams arrived here and they have given their all. And you can only get this on start time so if you haven't got your decoder i'll be telling you a lot more about where to get it especially if you are here with us in obuasi i'll give you the location i'll give you the numbers and there you go half time 45 minutes it could have been anybody's game jude well it could have but bidiama with the better chances they created good good great chances that they could have taken the lead welcome back to the akun park here in takwa into the second half of the game referee imgede gets us underway and this mediama sporting club who are playing from left to right the boy do at the back and it's thread forward medium eric Kwakwa now sets up the pass to the near side it comes this is looking good for Samoa. Kwakwa again this could be a chance for medium good save to take a good look at that chance again Kwakwa with that brilliant run and you see that cross here great turn but thought, thought, um, Prince of Pogwajimai could have placed that ball probably on the ground better than hitting it a little bit upwards look at him we may see that again 
Boedo with a head up. Ball has been taken over and Boedo is bundled off. Boedo is bundled off the ball. Free kick advantage. The chapel just came on. Beko announcing his presence. But the tackle with a negative one at that. Free kick is on. It's a long one. Rashid Nottie does what to turn. Fires in and again. Richard Beidou scores another set of full marks. Beidou on our west, but Beidou, another great reflexive. Ball floated in. This could be it. Eventually is in. Eventually is in. And just about two minutes ago, we spoke about that man crossing the center line. He has capped it in glory. Prince Opokwajima, he yeah. wasn't impeding the goalkeeper he anywhere. Just, he, was just he was just standing there. Look, look at him, just before the header, he moved. And exactly. he, he was just there was going no the contact whatsoever. Exactly. So there was no way he could have caused an impediment there. No. He rather prevented the goalkeeper from having a clearer view of what was happening, although he got his fingers to it. But then the reaction from Matinga was quick exactly. and fast. Exactly. We'll find Richard Buedu. Buedu has been stopped there by Bashe. Bashe will find upon it's a foul. That the fans are expecting three points. And he was in the mood to deliver that three points. Let's see if he can deliver on his promise. Free kick advantage. Karela. Bashev over the long one. Ball has been headed out by Atinga. And referee Male Igada Irimi has called it a day. It's all over here at the Akon Park. The Izima Derby has...